Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and this is a video. And it's a weird video, because it's different from what I normally do, and I know that's weird, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, here we go. This is just a video where I kind of just talk. And hopefully it's not that bad. Um, I know normally I just do videos where I'm like trying to showcase some technology or doing tutorials and programming or cybersecurity stuff and nonsense, um, and I want to keep doing that. I'm sure I've been saying this for years and honestly just freaking way too long. I want to keep doing this, and but I struggle with time. Uh, I'm still in college, I'm still at school, and it's like a military school, so there's obviously a lot more demands and obligations that kind of come my way um, than, than not your usual school. Um, so I've said over and over again, like, oh man, I'm going to have more time this semester or next semester or this new year and stuff like that. I even like promised like, hey, I'm going to try and upload a video every day for 2018. And I didn't even last a week. It was awful. And now it's April, right? And <laughs> I, I sucked and I, and I failed at that. So I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but I, that doesn't stop me. You know, I am going to graduate. I am going to, well, okay, I'm going to get out of this place. I'm going to leave. I don't know. I'm somehow going to go away from the school <laughs> one way or the other. And, um, that'll, that'll happen in May. So my life will just start and I'll be doing my own thing and I won't have to deal with being here and, and having these obligations in this, in this prison cell. I'm not going to lie. So, um, is the video still going? Yeah, okay, cool. Sorry. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to monitor the display right here. Um, so that you guys have something to watch. It's not just straight me talking and not just boring stuff. So hopefully there, there is at least a little bit of entertainment for you as you're just listening to me if, I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to say that I will have more time, and I've said that over and over again, but I genuinely will because I'm not going to be in school anymore. My life will start, and hopefully I'll be able to do more things. Um, but whatever. Let me get to the real point of this video, and this isn't really a point. It's just me me talking and rambling, um, and hopefully it'll be somewhat entertaining, I guess, if you'd like to listen or, or value my opinion. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so the title of this video is Should We Hack Back? And that requires some context and backstory and background, right? So like I told you, I go to school and I go to a military school and one of the classes I'm taking is a national security class. So it's all about national security, like the protection of the United States, and it includes intelligence and cyber operations. So one of the things that we talked about this week in class was, uh, at least I know, you see it as like a recurring theme, but like, okay, someone hacks, someone does some cybersecurity, vulnerability, and exploit, pen test, blah, 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 whatever, whatever frame you want to put it in, but something bad has happened to critical infrastructure, to a corporation, to a business, whatever. You see it all over the news, um, the Panera thing that just happened. Um, I follow Zero Daily, and that's my newsletter through Hacker One, where I try and follow my news source, and I saw that recently, but obviously real world thing. People get hacked. Things go wrong. So the question we're kind of thinking about is, do we hack back? Should we hack back? And I always have like this crazy knee jerk reaction to this because I've, I, I can't say grown up because it's not the right word, but like for so long, I've been kind of in more of the like software development, like um, engineering and, and building and creative side. I only within these few years here at school that I got into like the cybersecurity, the good versus evil, the vulnerable and exploit, like in inquisitive, curious, break something, make it do something that it's not supposed to do. So I don't know. I've always just had it instilled in me whenever someone asks, should we hack back? I were immediately like, no. That's a stupid idea. That is a bad idea. You never hack back. And I don't want I don't want to I don't know, sound like really cheesy or kind of silly and or, or childish in the way that I'm saying some of these things. So please I don't know, take this in whatever grain of salt you want, but when I say hack back, I, I literally like cringe at that phrase because it almost sounds so silly. Um, but if you put it in like a government or military frame, maybe it's a little bit different because when I have that knee jerk reaction of should we as a corporation should, or should we as, as, as something, right? Let's, let's put the organization frame on it or the spin on it. Now, should we hack back? And I say, no, immediately. No, that's a horrible idea. But that's again, coming from the like business standpoint. Okay, business standpoint isn't right. I'm not trying to say like economic advantage or, or, or industry crap like that. But normally I would think in the mindset of like, okay, if I'm a corporation, if I'm like a company and I get hacked, 
obviously, if if we're questioning, oh, should we hack back? We should be like, no, <laughs> that's not our place. That is not our authority. All we do as a business, as security people trying to protect our service, is we shut up and we put like, we, you, you know, you put your head in your hands. You ask yourself like, what happened? Why did this happen? Why didn't we see this coming sooner? How do we harden and protect our systems? How do we patch this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that, I guess, is why I justify as a corporation or as a, as a company, no, do not hack back. And then I try and consider it from, okay, if we're a, a bigger person, right? Like we're the military, we are government, we are the nation states that's supposed to defend and protect our nation, critical infrastructure, crap like that. Do we hack back? Uh, in this case, I don't know, right? Like, yeah, we are in a place where we kind of should. And, and hack back as maybe not an offensive thing. Obviously, hack back as in defensive doesn't really make much sense. But obviously, like, doing something within our capability to limit the adversary's capability, to hinder what they are doing or trying to do. Maybe that's not directly engaging with them. Maybe that's not an, an explicit attack on them, but something that is somewhere kind of in the peripherals that still hinders or, or uh, inhibits the initial problem or the initial uh, scenario. And I struggle with this in, in a weird way because being where I am at this military school and this institution, they rave and go, I don't know, they throw all these buzzwords and like they say like cyber, cyber this, cyber that. And honestly, because I like to think that I'm in the scene, that word cyber has become so saturated, like it's lost all its value and just desensitized to it. So when they try to say, oh, cyber is a new operational domain, it's the, the new uh, battlefield for warfare. And I, I say, yes, in a way it is. I mean, okay, yes, it is. It, don't get me wrong, it is. You break things, services go down, power grids can go down. It, you can level buildings depending on what you do. But no one, and I think, this is, this is an I think here. This is I, I think. I, am under, I, I don't know with certainty. But I guess from what I know, no one has died from a cyber attack. At least it, directly, at least like explicitly, right? Like obviously maybe there are things, I don't know if Stuxnet is a, is a proper example or if like power goes down as a hospital and, and uh, some of the equipment doesn't work right to like properly treat patients or something and people indirectly die. And indirectly isn't even the right word though because people may die, people die due to or because of this attack. In which case, you can say, oh, well then, yeah, like, follow through with that logic, shift some of your words around and realize you make this jump because, because, the initial because is because there was, an, there was a cyber attack, there was a hack, something went wrong, something broke. And I, I wonder about that because when you, when you put it in the frame of like, okay, cyber is an operational domain, it's a, a, a war fighting playing field you try and parallel like how do we frame what an attack what what is the magnitude of one attack what's appropriate to respond or or take action against or even accountability like how do we put someone in jail or what is the appropriate punishment for, for stuff like that because we don't know at least i think we don't know i don't know someone that maybe if you as a watcher have more policy or more or more of an understanding of what is really written down in legislature uh, and please share your opinions and, and input because i genuinely don't know. Um, so please enlighten me and maybe anyone else that's watching. But like I say, you, you try and parallel things that happen in regular warfare or regular war fighting that we're used to, like guns and shooting people and missiles and explosions with cybersecurity. Like, okay, uh, a DOS attack or SQL injection, you, you exfiltrate PII, stuff like that. And I kind of wondered, I had this thought in class, like, because I wondered, yeah, cybersecurity is an operational domain, but why did it become that way? Like, how did that happen? Why is it? Why is it a warfighting place? Did we, do we ever even really want it to be? Obviously, yeah, there were flaws in technology and us people took advantage of it because you can do cool things with it. And that's some neat, nifty adrenaline rush. But we didn't invent computers. Like, we didn't make computers for warfare. <laughs> I don't, at least, I don't know. I don't think we did. 
Maybe uh, probably in some case or in some example or some scenario you could. But when we have businesses and corporations and stuff, like, uh, sorry, I was switching a video for display. When we, oh, I don't even know where my thought was. Holy crap, that's awful, awful transition. I'm sorry, guys. We make guns and we make computers. But when we made computers, we never intended them to be used for warfare. Because we we have corporations and businesses and we're trying to provide a service. It's something for another individual. It's something like in, in the benefit of or like literally providing a service. Like, oh, pay your taxes online. Uh, do your online shopping. Um, check your, um, I don't know, like determine your water bill, pay your taxes, stuff like that. They're, check your bank statement. They're all things that are supposed to be like services for the people, for the public. There was never an intent to have warfare with that. But I wonder if guns, that's, I wonder if weapons, really like other operational domains, like you think of like air, air, land, and sea, right? So were ships designed for warfare? No. Were airplanes designed for warfare? Maybe, no. I don't know. Um, you say guns, you say like a legitimate weapon. Again, you can probably say no, like, go, no, guns are used for hunting, and that was originally to serve and provide food. If you were, I don't know, of that mindset of getting food to like feed yourself and your family, so I I wonder with that because you can you can put those both in a in a peculiar situation where were those really ever meant to be warfare things, um, and I don't know, right? <laughs> right at th at this point, I feel like I'm losing my point. To, or, to be honest, I never really had a point to begin with. Um, in that, sure, the video is called uh, Should We Hack Back? Uh, there is no yes or no answer, right? I don't know, for one thing. I'm a kid. I'm just a little, I'm genuinely a little kid, just still in school. Um, and I think, as a corporation, as a business, as a company, the answer is no, never. You gotta focus on yourself, and why did this happen? Why, how can we patch? How can we make this better? How can we make sure this never happens again? Why did this happen to begin with? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. That's a, it's a super internal thing. But if you are government or military, then you should really genuinely consider what are the implications if we engage? Like, what are the consequences? What are the actions? What comes of this? What comes of our world if we engage on this? Um, so, hey, so uh, I, I guess those are my two cents. I think. <laughs> At least what I'm trying to mull through in my head. So I'm curious. Um, is this something that you guys enjoyed listening to? If it's something you even wanted to listen to. is uh, can, you, can you provide any of your input? What do you know? What are you willing to share? What do you think? Um, and do that in the comment section if you're willing to. Leave a like, stuff like that. I'll, I'll, pull, I'll put in the, the garbage outro intro stuff. <laughs> yeah, if you're, willing, if you're interested in my channel and you want to see more stuff, uh, please subscribe. Um, I will be posting more tutorials and videos. I'll get into Python. I'll get into PowerShell. I'll get into more of real stuff. I'll try to redo some of the old videos because I know they suck. Um, trying to do more for you. So, thank you guys for watching. Long video. Just me rambling. Curious if you like that kind of thing. I can do more of it. It's easier to do because I just sit in a corner and talk out loud rather than try and plan out interactions. But, uh, whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a later video.